All right, good morning, peeps. So, today is Friday, August 25th, 2023. It is rainy, cloudy, thunderstorms, kind of a morning going on. Um, so, all in all, though, it's a good morning. I have woken up um, late. But I also stayed up really late last night. I just could not sleep. Uh, probably 2, 2.30, I finally dozed off. So um, I did wake back up this morning. I am ready to start my day. So let's talk about yesterday, though. Yesterday was a pretty good day. Um, primarily, it was Nampa, Cuna, Boise, Nampa. Um, didn't really stop and explore anything. I just worked... Um, it was steady, but it wasn't like, you know, super, super busy, crazy, not a whole lot of choice. I took basically whatever came my way. And um, I made about $155, $160 right in there. Um, I basically worked from 9.30 in the morning until um, about 6. So basically I did you know, just about a, an eight hour day, almost made 20 bucks an hour. It was, it was pretty good. It was slow there at times. Like I only made like eight bucks, uh, one hour. That was horrid. Um, but then I made like $28 and a half hour later. So, um, it all basically evened out for me pretty well. So, um, Today, again, I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going. There are no orders right now for me anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to go down and drive and see what DoorDash shows me and kind of go from there. So anyways, happy Friday. Fridays, as the day goes on, tend to get pretty busy. So it might be kind of slow this morning. That's why I'm kind of enjoying some coffee. Tonight, I do plan on... Um, taking the kids and um probably go and do some dash um probably gonna dash with them this weekend i've been trying to focus on not having to dash when i have them because they were in the car a lot last weekend um but because i took a couple of days off this week i need to work through the weekend so anyways good morning beautiful this is for all of you followers out there i appreciate you let's have a cup of coffee All right, so I have come over here to um, Epic Shine to vacuum out my car. I had, uh, I delivered some bark the other day um, to somebody and one of the bags was a little bit open and so I got some bark in the back of my car and I just hadn't taken the time to actually clean it out. I can't wait till I get that front end fixed so I can actually take it through the car wash again because it's really dirty and I really need to clean it. All right, Jack in the Box is the first stop. Here we go. Dropped off that uh, Jack in the Box. It was an Uber Eats, so it uh, paid me two fifty. It's actually supposed to be like a seven seven fifty order, but it has an upfront tip. I gotta wait an hour for that to process. So um, it's closing in on eleven o'clock. So my first hour, I made two and a half dollars. So. But I also went and cleaned out my car. Um, and yeah, it's just been slow. I am headed over to Boise. I'm hoping things will be a little busier. And I'm going to hang out with my father-in-law, Johnny, for a while. So special guest today, Johnny. All right. So the next pickup is Starbucks. All right. So I'm at Walmart. I picked up two orders. Uh, they're they're pretty small. Um, supposed to pay me like... 16 bucks something like that um i'm running them over to meridian so i'm headed to boise so i put uber on delivered to destination and um my destination is the boise town square mall and then i'm gonna go over i'm gonna get johnny but so it gave me two orders running over to meridian which is on the way to boise so let's get these delivered all right so it is 12 o'clock noon um i am on my way to deliver these two Walmart orders. Um, one of the tips did clear, um, and that was a $5 tip. So, from 10 to noon, I have made 
966 out this is terrible all right so i am in boise now um i'm waiting to pick up johnny uh should be here pretty quick so for um the ubers the tips everything that's come in i ended up with like 2840 uh so i'm three hours in almost i'm it's like 12 45 right now three hours in i should have about 60 so i've made about half of what i wanted to do um so anyways a slow morning i have scheduled an amazon um i'm going to see if they'll let me pick up i have this front body damage and i'm kind of under the impression that they won't let you uh drive if you have body damage but we'll see so here we go all right, so it is Friday, the 25th of August, uh, going on one o'clock. Uh, I got my father-in-law, Johnny, with me. I'm gonna show him what it's like to actually run an Amazon order. So um, we are gonna be headed over to Amazon here briefly. Um, it's a good half hour drive, and we gotta be there uh, at 145. So let's head to Amazon, Johnny. Amazon, okay. All right, here yeah. we go. Yeah. All right, so um, we're a little bit early, about five minutes. So the pickup is at um, 1.45. You can show up 15 minutes early or five minutes late. You have to be here within that time frame to actually get into your lot. It runs very, very organized, very, very time essence. So I got about five minutes before I can actually pull up there. Johnny's grabbing a quick smoke. Um, I'm just relaxing a minute and then moving on and this is amazon you just drive up into these lanes one two or three uh, and pick up your product all right so the way that amazon works is this is a four and a half hour gig that i'm running um and so it's worth 81 dollars so for me to make the 20 dollars an hour i have to actually knock this out and under the four and uh, hours and so which means I, I just gotta hustle a little bit so the the pattern that they give you for wherever you're working sometimes is not actually the most economical and it also doesn't always end up with a good ending spot so I take a good look at uh, this pattern that they're gonna give me this this delivery run and I may make changes to it as need be. But we're gonna find out when we pick up. Isn't this nice, Johnny? Yeah. This is uh, Wilson Creek. This is the um, Indian Creek. This is uh, downtown Caldwell. They've done an amazing job down here. Well, the um, the Amazon is done. Um, it was it was a large order. It was clear over in Coldwell, um, and actually it was supposed to be finished at six fifteen. I sent it. I finished it right about six thirty. But I also stopped uh, a couple of times while we were out and about, uh, visited a little bit with uh, Dana and Johnny, who were headed out of the town for the weekend. Enjoy. Um, had Johnny with me. We had a good time. So now I'm uh, taking a look though at the day. And the day has not actually been very successful. Um, I got $81 for the uh, Amazon. I got $28 earlier on uh, Uber. So when you look at it, I'm like at $110. Uh, uh, I started at 10 o'clock. It's almost 7 o'clock. That's a nine-hour day. I should be at like 180 um, working on a nine-hour day. 20 bucks an hour. Ooh, it's 
painful. I Like I said, I had some stops today, um, down at least an hour actually, um, at one point. So it is what it is. You, the days aren't always fantastic. Now I gotta try to figure out, it's Friday night, it's seven o'clock, it's still gonna be busy, it's gonna be popping. Um, do I keep working or do I shop, get some food, go see my family? I think I'll reach out, see what my wife and the kids are doing, um, and then kinda go from there. All right, so I stopped here at Chick-fil-A. Um, that is uh, where my first DoorDash is, 11 bucks. Uh, that helps. So uh, while I was waiting for that though, I put in another order for a free uh, Panera bread. Panera bread, yeah, I'll get it down, I really will. Um, so this is my fourth one so far. Uh, four bucks a pop, that's $16 worth of drinks, uh, you know. Uh, they're offering this unlimited drink thing and it's every two hours you can go in and get a, a drink. So um, yesterday I got two, today I got one, day before yesterday I got one. So it's a start, off to deliver. Okay, I had two orders, Chick-fil-A and then Little Caesars. Chick-fil-A was $11, Little Caesars was nine. I made 20 bucks that hour, so I'm content. Only ran two orders. Um, but made my goal. Now I'm headed over to uh, Oh Crab. It's saying it's a $13 order. It's running 15 miles. Um, kind of hoping maybe there's a little bit of a hidden tip in this one. Um, oh Crab tends to do fairly well. While I was out though, I was I grabbed me Chick Fil A for um, the chicken strips. I love them. Um, they're so good. So I got me a four pack, and I, I had this this drink, so I'm like, I don't need a drink, so I'm not gonna get the uh, little um, potato waffles things, um, because I'm not a huge fan, they're not bad, but um, I could do without. So then I went to um, Little Caesars, and I picked up some of the breadsticks because I really like the breadsticks so I'm like instead of the fries I'll get the breadsticks and I'm like but who had the best fries and this got me thinking about where if you were throwing together your favorite food what would you do so uh for chicken strips Chick-fil-a the best in my opinion for french fries A&W KFC has amazing french fries I love them um breadsticks I'd probably go with Little Caesars or Olive Garden. Olive Garden's not quite in the, the same category that we're looking at here though. Um, <clears throat> burger, probably the Bonsai Burger at Red Robin. That's like one of my favorite burgers. So that's my thoughts. Where would you go? What would you throw together if you just pick and chose your favorite meal? I just had to stop and capture this, the beautiful sunset over the mountains all right so i have dropped off the yo crab um and it ended up being a 13 dollars order so that's not terrible um i've made like 33 bucks already um dashing uh in the last hour and a half now it's gonna take me a little bit to get back uh into the mode so that's probably all i'm gonna make this hour the 13. so that kind of sucks a little bit but it is what it is um so in case you've been watching my videos the last couple of days and you've noticed like these little lights going on all over the place um what happened was i dropped my phone and i shattered the screen a couple of days ago um I got a, a backup, a little iPhone backup, um, but you know, habit is a hard thing to break. And so this is the phone that I've been primarily using. Literally my backup phone is AT&T, same. I could pop out the same card, throw the same card in the other phone and fire right up and then I'd be using it. Um, 
and I, I probably will because this bothers me. Um, kind of looks like I got like ghosts or something hanging out with me. But anyway, so um, I am up getting close. So I had a, about 110 before. Now I've added another almost 35. So I am at like 145. Um, and to get my 150 goal, I'm, I'm closing in on it. Um, I am probably going to run like one more and then call it a night. Um, the sun is starting to set and um, what? What up, buddy? The car behind you. Yeah, hey, <laughs> So that's kind of funny. I'm going to have to like cut out his little blurb of a curse word, Adam. All right, so I just got into town. It is 9 or 8.50. I got like 10 minutes before 9 o'clock. Um, I made $13 so far this hour. I turned on uh, my app and Applebee's popped up 850 plus. Um, it's only supposed to be like a three mile run. If Applebee's has this ready and can get it out to me quick, I might be able to do it this hour. Otherwise, we're gonna go into the next hour, finish this off, and I'm gonna go home. Let's see what happens at Applebee's. So I pulled up to Applebee's and this never happens. Gal was outside. She walked right up. She's like, who are you picking up for? I said, Kate. So she's going back in, but Jade Garden just came up. Look at this. She's coming out already with the food. Amazing. Thank you so much. And I got it. Of course, um, just as I was finishing up, Applebee's got it. I got the second order for Jade Garden. So the lights are out. Hmm. Anyways, let's go pick up this food too. All right, so I picked up both orders and it is literally nine o'clock right now. Um, so that being said, oh, that looks cool. Um, anyway, that being said, I'm going to shut that up. I might have been able to make it. It's saying that um, I'm going to be there at uh, like 9.07. And so I spent a couple of minutes in there. It would have been real close. Anyway, so I've got two orders. i got more money. I'm okay with more money. We're going into the next hour. We're going to wrap this up with this double order. And then uh, go home and see my family. All right. So, I have dropped off the Applebee's. That ended up being like a $12 order. So, so cool, cool, cool. Um, now, I'm headed over to Locust to drop off Jade Garden. Um, not even sure how much this one is. I guess we'll just have to wait to see. So, um, if it's $8 or more, this is a $20 hour. It's 10 minutes after right now. Um, but I have made my 150 for the day. So this is wrap up time now. All right, so um, how'd we do today? This is uh, something that we're gonna take a look at. So it went 175 miles today. So the, the goal is to make $175, a dollar per mile. Um, I worked from basically 10 o'clock this morning till. 9:30 now, um, so uh, that is a 9, 10, almost a 12-hour day. Wow, um, didn't really feel like it. Anyways, so let let's take a look at everything. So first off, we know that we didn't do anything with Rody today, not a single order, um, which is odd because I normally run at least something. Amazon Flex, we take a look at our earnings, and I had $81 for um, this four and a half hour block. Um, and is crazily enough, I haven't actually worked Amazon in almost two months. Uh, right about then is when the 
uh, Mazda went down. I got the van. I've been working on the van. I haven't been back to uh, work Amazon until today. So today was the first day back to Amazon. Made $81. So let's let's bring up the trusty little calculator. And let's clear this out. So we know we made $81 there. Then we come over to DoorDash. All right, so DoorDash, just, this is important. My acceptance rate fell below 70. I still have a few days, but I wasn't taking any of the small orders today, so I did kind of refuse a few. Um, I still have the good customer rating of 4.92. Um, I have the 68%. shouldn't be too hard to add to. Uh, completion rate of 100, on time 90. And almost 3,050 deliveries. So, how do we do today, though? We made 52, uh, 25, which is bringing that um, weekly score up to 231, uh, 57. So, that, that's not bad. I normally average uh, around three, dollars $400 on each app each week. So, that's, that's what we're looking at there. So, I'm going to add that 52.25. Okay, so that's 133. Not bad. Not bad. And then the only other thing that I did today was Uber. So let's load up Uber. Let's take a look here. So um, I had 28.73 uh, today on Uber. So we'll add that. 28.73 equals 161. So I didn't even make my dollar per mile today. So I missed one of my main goals. Um, today was kind of an off day. But like I said, we worked 11 and a half hours to get this. So let's divide that by 11.5. 14.08. Today... I averaged fourteen oh eight an hour. Now, I it was slow this morning. It's been slow generally most of the day. Tonight was fairly good. I also spent some time with my father-in-law. Went and checked out Indian Creek. Uh, visited with my mother-in-law. So I look at the whole day as my goal of making one hundred and fifty. I made that. Um, my making twenty bucks an hour. Oh, missed it terribly. And also a dollar per mile missed that. So goal wise today was not a very good day, but they aren't always excellent. That's something that you got to kind of keep in mind. Now, this is a Friday. What happened? What went wrong? Well, it was slow in the morning. Friday mornings are often slow. Most of the business stuff that you see on roadie and that kind of stuff has already been done by the time you get to Friday. Then, um, I, I did take the big, um, Amazon order, which Amazon normally only pays about 18 bucks an hour. So I had four plus hours that were at 18 bucks an hour. Plus it took me a little longer to finish it. So that's going to hurt my overall average. Uh, I did do fairly well in the evening on the amount of time that I worked, the amount of money I made. I had some really good orders tonight. Turned down some bad ones, uh, focusing more on the good ones. Try to raise my scores up so I didn't have to work all night. Anyways, that's basically where we are at.